They make this journey most days along winding, sometimes dangerous paths. This is a remote area west of the city of Thais. It's also one of the battlegrounds of Yemen's civil war and where these women must go to reach the only place where they can learn. We walk long distances, past villages and valleys to get here. We learn because we do not have education. We didn't know any of the alphabets, but thanks to our teacher, now we can read and write and we can also teach our children. For some of these women, this is the first time they've put pen to paper. Grandmothers, mothers, young women, learning what most children might be taught in their first or second year of school. And so hungry to learn that on this particular day, more than 40 women were crammed into a small building. It's part of Amida El Khaledi's home. She's the teacher and the creator of this makeshift education centre. At her own cost and in her own time, she's taught dozens of women to read and write. The education of women in the countryside is very low and I've made it my job to try to change that. There is no support from anyone. I wish that all sisters, anyone who is educated, might do their bit to educate women and girls in rural areas. Few children in rural Thais have made it to school in the last three years of Yemen's civil war. Houthi rebels control much of the north, including the capital, Sana'a. They're pitted against government forces fighting in support of exiled President Abid Rabu Mansour Hadi and are backed by airstrikes from a Saudi-led coalition of mainly Arab states. Their power base lies in the south, including the strategically important port city of Aden. The province of Thais, where these women live, lies right in the middle. Most of the schools are closed now and we're in a remote area and there's war. So education is a positive thing for women. Instability, widespread poverty and unemployment affect all the women here. al Khalidi also teaches skills that have enabled students to generate their own income. Things like knitting and sewing. For these women, knowledge really is power. Miriam Hond, Al Jazeera.